Hello everyone and welcome back to tutorial number 6 in this ROS series. In today's tutorial what we will be doing is that we are going to create our own custom message. But before we do that we just need to shortly look at what we have done until now. So what we have done until now is that we have created a publisher node and a subscriber node. And what we do in the publisher node is that we publish a simple message of type string to a topic which is called talking topic. And we say that the message should be hello email and then a timestamp. And then we have created a subscriber node which listens to this topic. And what it does is just that it prints it out on the screen. So if you have a sensor which gives some kind of position, maybe you don't want to use a string. So this is where we can use a custom message. And I will show you in this tutorial how you create one of these custom messages because they can be very powerful. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a new folder in your project in your package folder. So what you do is that you create a new folder and you will call it msg like message. And in this folder we will create our message. So as I mentioned we will create a position message. So I will create a new file and then here I will type the name of my message. So mine will be position and then dot msg like this. So dot message. And what I want to add in here is the, is the variables in the message. And that's everything I actually need to add in this message file. So this is a position message and we can use a position in a two-dimensional world. So we'll have a x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. But we can also add, uh, just to uh, for this tutorial, we can add uh, a message also. So to do this, what we can do is that we, first of all, add a some string, um, which we can call a message. And then we add a, a float. 32, which we call x, which will be our x position. And then we add a, another float, 32, call y, which is our y position. And this is simply everything I need to add in this message file. So I will just hit save here. And what I will do now is that I will go to my publisher node. And in here, what we need to do is to, we need to import this message into this publisher node. And to do that, what we do is that we go here and we type from and then the name of our package. So the name of my package is tutorials. So I will type tutorials.msg and then import. And I want to import position. So what I can do now is that I go here where we generate our message and what I will do is that I will generate a new position message. So to do this, I type position and then two, uh, two semicolons. And then I can say msg.message equals, and we can say uh, my position is in the message. And then we can say msg.x equals 2.0. And msg.y equals 1.5 or something similar. So what, what I've done here is that I populated the data in my position message. So message x and y here. And what we do is that we then publish the message with our publish object here. But here's something that we need to fix. We have said when we created our publisher object that we will publish a, a message of type string. But, but not, that's not the case right now. So what we do is that we will publish a message of type position. So we need to change this one to position. So we can do that and we can hit save. So before we go to our subscriber node, we can just copy this import here. So we don't need to type it again. So we copy it. We go to our subscriber node and we import our new message here. And we can go to our listener function. 
where we create our subscriber object and we see that it subscribes to the talking topic, but it says that the type of message is string. So we need to change here also the type to position. So what we want to do is that we want to log our message, uh, our position to, to the terminal instead of this message here. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to remove everything in this parenthesis like this. And uh, what we want to add here is that we want to add two of these explanation marks. And in here, we want to say percentage %s, which will be uh, this message string, which we added in the message. And then we can say uh, position, uh, or we can say it like this, x and a colon, and then we say percentage %f. And then we can add a space, and we say y colon and a percentage %f. And what we can do then is that we add our types here. So this will be the first percentage s here that will be data dot message. Uh, percentage f here at the x position will be data dot x and percentage and the y. So oh sorry. So the y and the y position will be data dot y like this. So now we can hit save. And what we will be doing now is that we are go we need to add something a little bit more to our uh, package. And that is that we need to edit our package.xml file. So we open that file up. And what we need to do here is that we need to add a build dependency and an executable dependency. So we do that by going here and we will, uh, yeah, so uh, they are actually, already here. So everything we need to do is just that we need to uncomment this on line 46. So we can remove this, which is the executable dependency message runtime it's called. So we can remove the comments. And then we also need this build dependency, uh, which is here message generation. So we will remove these comments also. And then we will hit save. And that's everything we need to do in our package.xml. But we also need to edit our cmakelists.txt. And what we need to do here is that we need to add into our find package function is that we need to add here message underscore generation. And then we can go down to around line 50 and we need to uncomment this function here, add message files. So we will remove all the comments and we can remove this message too here. And here we want to have our own message. So we'll say position.msg. So this is, uh, so as you can see here in the comment, generate message in the message folder. So this is the msg folder that we created. And in here we have a message called position.msg. And this is what this file refers to. And then we need to go down here to line 69 or 70 and remove the comments from this generate message. So we will remove everything here. So, and then we can just hit save. So now if we open up our terminal and we go to our project folder, we can type catkin underscore make. And hopefully it will build for us. As you can see, it did. So what we can do then is that we go and open up a new terminal and we run our ROS core. So we we'll just type ROS core and it will start. And then I will uh, just to make it simple for you to see, we will open up a new terminal window here. And in this terminal, we will um, go to my project folder. So CD Python Catkin. And then in here, what I need to do is that I need to source my setup.bash file. So I do that. So I say source devil setup bash. And I also need to do the same in this left here. So we need to source the bash setup.bash file. And what I can do, first of all, is just that I can start my publisher. So I type ros run. 
I type publish uh, tutorials and I say publisher node.py. So I hit enter. And as we can see, it published the node uh, or it publishes the messages now. So we received our start message. So what I can do now here is that I can start my subscriber node and hopefully it will print the message out to the terminal. So I type ROS run tutorials and then I type subscriber underscore node.py. And as you can see, it says my position is X 2.000 and Y 1.5000, as we mentioned in the code. So what we do is that we publish our own custom message, which we decide how it will look. And we used it to publish our position and we change our subscriber to subscribe to the message. And that's everything for this tutorial. If you liked it, please hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel and 